Ed Olman. Thanks for joining us live for NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. Hi, this is Kevin Harlan, joined by my partners, Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg. Home court advantage goes to the Rockets, playing here in Houston. Now, Golden State's starting five. Thompson is the two with Barnes at the three. Bean at the four with Bogut at the five. And it's Curry in at the point. On defense, Houston. Three-pointer. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. And guys, one thing that we were treated with last year was Steve Kerr's great quotability in post-game interviews and pressers. He said all the right things and deflected praise like a coach who had done it for many years. Now, here's Thompson. It's Bogut with the drive. No good on his first attempt of the game. To the middle. Here's Harden. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, that's the message they were sending with that foul. Nothing easy inside. And Kerr is so good with the media because, Greg, he was a media member of himself for so long. You know that as well as anybody. I, I, Clark, I don't think he ever tried his hand at broadcasting, though. I, I can't see him doing that, could you? Yeah, right, I know. Right, right. <laughs> he probably just drone on as a broadcaster yeah. and would rarely contribute anything of note. Um, some guys have what it takes to call games, yeah. and Steve just doesn't quite no. scratch me as that kind of guy. No. <laughs> the baseline J. And that one goes long. Good. Curry's got five. And it looks like he might just be on his A game today, Clark. Takes the three. Harden missing again. But sometimes it's more about what the defense is doing on that possession. They were all over him on the perimeter. It seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. I mean, that's just exquisite ball movement. And that's because the ball is looking for the best shot, and it's really paid off for them during the run. And here's Barnes for three. The shot is off. So Houston will take it the other way. Looking to end the run. And he gets it to go. Beverly's got his first points in this one. You know what? Didn't find a very good shot on that possession, but still able to get two points. That's good. This looks like a pregame shoot around with all the threes they're allowing. I don't know. There might be more defense in the warm-ups. Right now, these are just shooting game shots. Oh. You know, sort of surprising he goes for a slam that difficult while they're trailing. Yeah, but still, you know what? A magnificent move to the rim. I tell you Agreed. what, guys. I don't care what the score is. That's the play we're going to remember when this game is over. They're going back to the three-point shot over and over and over. And they may have found the Achilles heel of this defense. That was their ninth straight point from beyond the arc. Thompson from long range. Power dishes to Beverly. And it's Curry with the rebound. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going. This
have an interconference affair lined up for you today right, as the to Cleveland Cavaliers to come in for this one. It's the NBA, and it's live right here on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan to call the game with our analysts, Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. We've got a chance here to set the floor, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go for this one. So on the floor for Cleveland. LeBron and Love are the talented pair at the forward position. Kyrie Irving and J.R. Smith at the guard set. And it's Thompson in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Smith dishes to Thompson. Monte Yunus with the steal. Oh, and a fast break for the Rockets. That's good for Marisa on the assist by Harden. Excellent work there in transition. Yeah, I think it's always better to go early in transition to attack when it's there because oftentimes you can beat the defense down the floor. Fantastic dunk, and he decided to hang around up there for a while, Kevin. Well, maybe, you know, he didn't want to land awkwardly. I don't know. Yeah, oh, guys, come on. You know, he's up there posing. He's posing for the photographers. That's all that's about. And here are the Cavaliers now. Well, looking back on last season, you didn't know where the Rockets would end up in terms of seeding in the playoffs. Ended up with the two seed because they won the Southwest Division. And as it turned out, everything worked out very well for them. It really did. And had a divisional matchup in that first round against the match. But, but the Rockets took care of business in that series and would advance. Patrick Beverly. And, you know, for the Rockets, they had a major gut check in the second round. Went down 3-1 to one against the Clippers. Came back to win the series in seven, including game six, when I dozed off when they were trailing by 19 in the fourth and was shocked to wake up in the morning and see they had forced the seventh game. Boy, with an open look like that, he is so gifted. Man, you've got to play better defense. Eventually, he's going to make you pay. Yeah, you can see he's still in rhythm, even though he misses that one almost always deadly when he's that open. Back to Thompson. LeBron, that's a two-pointer. Rebounded by Howard. And with the Rockets last postseason, their trip to the conference finals was as far as they would go. Went out to the Warriors in five games. Most of them, though, close ones. I think most fans are pleased with how far the team went last year in spite of all the injuries. Can't hit. James with some nice D. Or Cleveland, they've gone just one of four to get this game started. Irving kicks to Thompson. The shot's good from Smith. Yes. Oh, Maestro, he is so good at making those lead passes, like conducting an orchestra. Harden with it. He's picked up by Irving. Back to Harden. Let's it go from 11. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Harden's got his second basket. And a really good way to start yes. the game. He's a guy who, if he gets it going early, he's going to give you problems. You know, they've scored several times already here in the first quarter down low. I like that. It's like a running game in football. When you can pound the basketball inside, it also allows you to control the team's transition. Irving passes to LeBron. The kick out to Irving. Here's Love. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. Love's got his first points of the game. I don't know. Maybe they're still working out the kinks on D because that clearly was a breakdown. Lonnie Yunus. And he banks in the layup. Oh, that is just weak defense there. I'm pretty sure that was not the plan to give him those kind of baskets at the hoop. Really well done there. Just confident and composed, never in a hurry. And Houston calls their first time out of the game. Houston, a whole new five on the floor. And the Cavaliers will go with a different look here. Mozgov, he's checked in for Tristan Thompson. Fry comes in for Kevin Love. Shumpert, he's checked in for Smith. And it's Matthew Dellavedova in 
for Kyrie Irving. Capella dishes to McDaniels. No good from the wing. Rebounding is going to be the focal point for them in this one, fellas. I can feel it. You know, it always is, and it has been so far, and they've gotten a nice edge on the glass. Here's Terry after the made shot from Amon Shumpert. And it's Terry again missing. And here we go. Shumpert running it up the court. And LeBron James gets it to go. Really not hard to see why they're giving up points on this run. I mean, they're just giving them too many looks inside. Yeah, and usually when a team goes on a run like this, it's because they are getting too many opportunities on the inside. Make them beat you from deep. McDaniels gets to Brewer. Oh, the pass there floated up to the precise spot where it needed to be. And no messing around on the finish, huh? He, he powers it through. Sure didn't waste any time there. And guys, that's an alley-oop I guarantee you we'll be seeing on the highlight reels for the next few days. Uh-oh, a little showboating at the end of that one. Stolen by Terry. And Daniels gets to Beasley. Oh, that's blocked. Inside. Here's Della Vidova. A shot, no good. And a good game so far as we conclude the first quarter. The Rockets on top. They're up by one. And the second quarter will get underway just after this short break. And so far, it's been a closely contested game as we get the second quarter up and going. And look at how the hustle game has been going for Houston. Boy, they've really amped up the pressure at the defensive end, guys, and have piled up the steals in the early going. And also, they're jumping on a lot of turnovers, making sure they turn them into points at the other end. On the floor for Cleveland, getting going here in the second. Kyrie Irving and J.R. Smith at the guard set. Channing Fry out there with Kevin Love. And it's Shumpert in a, the small forward position. Off the mark, his first miss of the game, one for two. Out of bounds, Cleveland takes possession. And, and you know what? His mind's playing tricks on him right now because he's not going to live that one down easily. Thompson, he's checked in for the Cavaliers. The Cavaliers trail by three. And it goes out of bounds. Uh, last touch by Irving. And for Houston, they're shooting from the field. 44%, not bad. Offensive rebound. Kicks it to Howard. Ariza with it. Now guarded by Shumper. Harden outside. From deep. Kept alive by Houston. And just... Just because you can make it from outside doesn't mean you need to live there. Not that far out anyway, Greg. I mean, he can work for a better shot than that. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. Old school D right there, just telling them no easy layups. It's as simple as that. And that's what you expect from them. Houston's gone 0-2 from deep in the second. Cleveland with a very strong year last year. They were a very solid team on the road, as most LeBron-led teams are. Clark. Yeah, he's a special guy oh, in terms goodness. of how he can elevate other players. Uh, didn't start out hot on the road, but eventually got it together and ended up 22-19 and 19 away from home. And here we go. Houston running again. And that one is good by Beasley. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside they've allowed 10 straight points in the paint that's not the kind of streak you want to be part of defensively tighten it up fellas and back to the Cavs and their road play teams with a lot of new players coming in can struggle early it's especially evident when playing on the road and the Rockets making a change here Ronnie Eunice has checked in outside jumping Smith the pass to Thompson. 
Love outside. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Love's got five now. You talk about being streaky on the road. That's what the Cavs were. I mean, could rattle off four wins on the road in a row, then come back empty from their next road trip. They did seem, though, to get stronger and more steady as the season went on. Yeah, and the Rockets were a tough team last year, but, but at times it, it really felt like a one-man show. Harden carried them so much for so long. You, you just have to wonder if it wore him out. And he sinks the second. And if carrying the team during the regular season or Harden down, Greg, you're talking about, it didn't show that much in the playoffs. Harden was phenomenal, most if not Clark, all of the postseason. I would agree with you, but there also were some other guys for Houston that did step up in the postseason. Howard looked as good as he did before all of his injuries as a case in point. If he can improve on what's been a shaky day for him thus far, they could stretch this lead out. Out of bounds, Houston takes possession. Well, that's inexcusable to throw a pass that far off the mark. A different look now for Cleveland. Mozgov, he's checked in for Thompson. LeBron comes in for Smith. And it's Matthew Delavidova in for Amon Shumpert. And as it goes out of bounds, Houston able to keep the ball here. Houston making some changes. Cabela's checked in. And Corey Brewers subbed in for Trevor Ariza. The Rockets shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. And the first one at the line is good. He doesn't get the second one. You know, the Cavs last season won a bunch of games, but they had to fight for a lot of them. They often would fall behind early or dig a big hole and have to fight their way out of it. Now, here's Monte Yunus. Terry outside. The tray, and it's Terry again missing. Cabela kicks to Brewer. Let's it go from deep, but they'll get another chance. The Cavaliers trail by three. There's the bucket, good. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. You mentioned GA, the Cavs, and their comebacks. They actually overcame double-digit deficits for 13 of their 53 wins last year. Yeah, and Kevin, I remember their biggest one being a comeback after being down 17 points. I mean, but when you have the star power that the Cavs have, no comeback is out of the question. You're just never safe against this team. The lead changes hands once more. There has been no separation between these two teams. You know, it's made for one heck of an entertaining game. Even when it hasn't been the best basketball being played, it sure has been fun to watch. Houston making a switch here. Nick Daniels checked in. Channing Fries checked in for the Cavaliers. Mozgov kicks the fry. Mata Yunus grabs the miss. And you can see the defender's afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Here's McDaniels. The shot no good. And Cleveland the other way now. Here's the lob to the hoop. Della Vidova kicks to Fry. Cleveland moving it around to the paint. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. Guys, what a tight start to the game this has been. You know what? Can you believe there have been seven lead changes already, guys? Wow. And it's still in the first half. This could be a wild one. And that one's good. We've got 33 seconds left now here in the second. Knocked away. Stolen by McDaniels. And here we go. Brewer, good. Well, that's why they're on the lead. Aggressive play at both ends. Very nicely done there. Absolutely. They make the steal, pay dividends instantly on the fast break. A second chance effort. And that one hits back iron. Jumps up. Now that's how to finish the break. Throw down with force. Wow, that is just pretty right there. What a find that Forrest teammate at the rim. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Irving. 
Checking in for your rock. Michael Beasley. It's Terry outside. That misses. Would have counted had it gone in. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Rockets lead by five. Stay with us, folks. We'll get back just after halftime to start the third quarter. All right. Welcome back, everyone. The second half about to get underway, and it's been a close one so far. You have to like what we're seeing from J.R. Smith. Yeah, the rebounding, particularly on the offensive side, as good as it gets, he was bringing the effort down low. And I tell you what, that allowed him to get his team several multiple shot opportunities. His work on the offensive glass has been invaluable. We have a close ball game on our hands as we get set for the second half of basketball. You have to like what we're seeing from J.R. Smith. And his play in that first half. How about the discipline to go along with the efficiency, guys? His shot selection was just perfect. I agree. I mean, whether it's been from mid-range or in tight, he is taking only what the defense has given him and not trying to do too much. Very much playing within himself. Harden and Ariza filling out the perimeter. Modi Yunus and Howard the post pair. And it's Beverly in it the one that's the five for Houston right now my he is so adept at finishing in the low post boy last year the Rockets dealt with a lot of injuries I mean the front court and post players were hit the hardest I think almost every rocket big would end up missing some time Smith kicks to Irving stolen by Harden finished off the break and the Rockets lead by seven. Just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. Five straight baskets, Greg, resulting from assist. They're playing as one unit out there. The Cavaliers trail by seven. Outside Irving. From deep three-point range. And another miss by Cleveland. And Harden gets it to go in on the assist by Ariza. Eight points for James Harden. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Ten straight points off assist. That's very impressive. And it also makes the game easy and fun to watch. Oh, tough D on the inside. It sure was, Greg. No easy access to the basket when that fell was in the middle. No clue <laughs> where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. Come on, Shumpert's checked in for Kyrie Irving. Now a timeout called by Houston. It's leading by nine. Here's Beverly. Not enough on that one as it misses. Really quite surprising to see the huge edge they have in rebounds given what the scoreboard says. Yeah, not typical. They've been dominant on the board, but they are still falling short on the scoreboard. And so it's Houston with it. LeBron with the block. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Shot is no good. That's one for their first four to start the second half. And it's slammed in by Ariza. Well, it's gone back and forth for a while here, but they're really starting to push out. They're looking good right now. The drive by Love. 
Stolen by Beverly. And it's the Rockets on the break. Harden's got the ball. And that one is hammered home. And that's how you make a steal count. Turn it into a quick slam at the other end. It was really a case. It looked like Greg Anthony right there, <laughs> if, I, if I can say so. It was really a case of a great defensive play triggering some instant mm -hmm. offense. Yeah, I remember G.A. as an irritant. And this guy, much like Greg, creating havoc out there. And it's all one-way traffic tonight, boy. They have been lights out offensively. <laughs> And there's no telling how big that lead's going to get. But, again, it's just one game, but nonetheless, a very impressive one, the way they've handled their business here. And the basket good. And defensively, these guys are looking for answers. Since halftime, they've seemed disjointed and out of sync. They have got to get back that rhythm defensively. Timeout called Cleveland. You know, he just, like every other coach, can't stand when the defense gives up points on the inside and boy are they struggling in there yeah well they're getting pummeled in there so you've got to figure out a way to make some adjustments to try to change that around and that's why he needed the timeout michael beasley he's checked in for money units channing fries checked in for cleveland matthew de Bedova comes in for smith Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. James, that's a two-pointer. It just hasn't been a very good day for him, guys. They need him to start burying some of those. They get it again. The feed now to Della Vidova. Here's Shumpert. Pass to Della Vidova. Dishes it to James. And another shot. And the rejection by Harden. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. And Shumpert slams it in. Cutting into that lead a little bit. Way to finish. And the basket is still shaking. Oh, I mean, he has got power in bunches on that two-hand. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. Corey Brewers checked in for James Harden. And Cleveland also making a change. Mozgov's checked in. LeBron dishes to Fry. Stolen by Beverly. Puts it up. He drains the quick shot. Brewers got six points. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for Houston. Defensively, they played with a lot of energy. And The Rockets are looking to defeat their Western Conference rival going into this game. And get ready for another dose of NBA basketball on 2K Sports. 
This is Kevin Harlan, and here with me tonight, Greg Anthony, Clark... Kellogg and Doris Burke reporting from the sideline. The shot by Curry, no good. Warriors on D. Now a chance, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. The starting five on the floor. So on the floor for Houston. Harden and Ariza filling out the perimeter. Modi Yunus and Howard the post pair. And it's Beverly in a point. It's in wonderful Houston, Texas. It's the NBA, and it's live right here on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan to call the game with our analysts, Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. We've got a chance here to set the floor, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go for this one. On the court for the Trailblazers. Lillard at the point with C.J. McCollum playing the two. Arkless is out there with Aminu. And it's Plumley in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. As magical as the 2014 playoffs were for the Blazers, remember they beat Houston in that first round, that great shot by Lillard, uh, late to win it and move on. 2015, not as much, you know, Greg. They drew a very tough Memphis team, as you recall, in the first round. Yeah, you, you often talk about styles making fights very similar in this series. They would go on to drop the first three games before being bounced, but, but still a good showing for a team that struggled mightily down the stretch with injuries. And Harden with the basket on the assist by Ariza. Offensively, he can be the engine that drives them at any given time. Three-pointer, Lillard. Again, the miss by Lillard. Everly with the ball. Al Farouk Camino covering. That one goes. Count. Mani Yunus has got his second basket of the game. Oh, I tell you what, nice little run here that they're going on. And, and getting to the 10 has been the key there. Getting point-blank looks time and time again. I like the fact that he led his teammate right to the ideal spot. You don't always throw it to your teammate. You throw it to where he needs to be. 
And, and the Rockets have lost out on some free agent wars the past few years. They have remained competitive, but you wonder what could have been if they landed or kept some of those big names. And with the Rockets, it's no secret that they take a very analytical approach to team building. Uh, Greg, you and I have talked about that. And, Clark, you know, you wonder if that hurts them in free agency. Well, you know, when your front office makes no qualms about viewing players as simply just assets, it can be a hard sell to a free agent. Here's Harden. And it's blocked. Aminu dishes to McCollum. Harkless. Great D that time from Howard. It's Harden with the drive. Well, Portland had another strong season against the rest of the West. Ended up with a record of 31 and 21 in the conference, and that was good enough to earn them the fourth spot in the West. And the Trailblazers making a change here. Davis has checked in. And Lillard kicks to McCullough. And Trevor Ariza is going to pick up a foul here. That's his first foul. And you can see he just didn't get squared up with his feet. Greg, those are always tough to judge, but I think the official got that one right. Out to the right wing. Ronnie Yunus with the steal. Defense is all about anticipation, and he had perfect anticipation on that pass and comes away with the steal. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. Portland did end up fourth in the West, as you said, Greg. You're talking about that, and their 31 and 21 in conference record was the exact same as it was at the end, Clark, of the 2014 season. Well, actually, Portland won more games in 2014 than they did last season. Ended up fourth in the conference, mostly because of how they won their division. Phenomenal alley oop slam right there, guys. They're taking advantage, Clark, of a team that looks lost out there. <laughs> guys, this one is threatening to get really ugly. Michael Bees, he's checked in for Houston. Brewer comes in for James Harden. Portland also making some changes. Leonard, he's checked in for Plumlee. Henderson comes in for Harkless. And it's Alan Crabb in for McCullough. Yeah, you, you hate to give up a foul on a three-point attempt. Yeah, unnecessary. I mean, make them earn those points from deep. Don't give them to them free at the line. Catching up on the changes for Houston. Capella's checked in, and it's K.J. McDaniels in for Trevor Ariza. And he nails the third. Well, looking back on last season, you didn't know where the Rockets would end up in terms of seeding in the playoffs. Ended up with the two seed because they won the Southwest Division. And as it turned out, everything worked out very well for them. It really did. And had a divisional matchup in that first round against the Mavs. But, but the Rockets took care of business in that series and would advance. And that's how the coach would draw it up on the fast break from start to finish. Yeah, and what a finish it was, guys. Really nicely done. And with him missing literally everything he's put up today, you can see why the score is what it is. And, you know, for the Rockets, they had a major gut check in the second round. Went down 3-1 to one against the Clippers. Yes, Came back to win the series in seven, including game six, when I dozed off when they were trailing by 19 in the fourth. And was shocked to wake up in the morning and see they had forced the seventh game. Leonard with the ball. Guarded now by Michael Beasley. Stolen by McDaniels. The finish. And Davis sends it back. And as it goes out of bounds, Houston able to keep the ball. Von Lays checked in for Ed Davis. Into the trail. Here's McDaniels. 40 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. And with the Rockets' last postseason, their trip to the conference finals was as far as they would go. It went out to the Warriors in five games. Most of them, though, close ones. I think most fans were pleased with how far the team went last year in spite of all the injuries. 
And really nothing like a good old-fashioned throwdown to get a team going. And, Greg, they do need to get going. They wouldn't mind, you know, shaving a couple more points off that lead right away. Well, if the defense keeps giving up easy baskets like that, it won't be a lead for long. Got it off in time. That misses. Would have counted had it gone in. The basket's coming early and often in the first quarter. Houston on top. They're up by seven. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of the spring. And welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. More action in store as the players get ready to go. Having a nice break to get hydrated with Gatorade. Let's quickly break down the game we've seen so far from the Rockets, guys. Anytime you can get to the rim consistently early in the game, it allows you to get into a good rhythm offensively. It really does. I mean, it's a lot easier to get buckets inside. That's elementary, and they've done that through one. Here are the five. Portland has to start the second quarter. Cohen is out there with Crab. Then there's Al Farouk Aminu. Then there's Von Ley. And it's Leonard in at the five. Monty Yunus has checked in for Michael Beasley. Plumley is checked in for Portland. And the basket good. Beverly's got the lead up to nine now for the Rockets. That was the third straight high percentage look this defense has allowed. I mean, these defenders have got to start bumping bodies in the paint. Be more physical. Be more aggressive. The game's just far too easy right now when it comes to attacking the basket. They have got to do better. Well, looking back on last season, you could see the Rockets were tough at home. They just were relentless at going at teams. Yeah, how about a 30-11 and 11 record last year? And a lot of close ones for them, but that home crowd at times could just really will them to victory. As it did help in the series against the Clippers last year in the playoffs. And Davis has checked in for Portland. A call on pass to Davis. Aminu dishes to Plumley, And he takes that one up and powers it through. Cutting into that lead a little bit. Way to finish. And the basket is still shaking. Oh, I mean, he has got power in bunches on that two-hand. And now the first time I've called here for the Rockets. Houston leading by five. Harden inside the three-point line. And Davis sends it back. McCollum kicks to Davis. The shot is off. So Houston will take it the other way. Their biggest lead of the game was not. Harden gets the bucket. He's having quite the quarter here, guys. I mean, shooting the ball extremely well. Got that one up quick. And it's seven points for C.J. McCollum. And, and I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter. And now you can see him getting into a rhythm. And it's slammed in by Plumley. They started the game off tortoise-like, but their offense coming to life. <laughs> yeah, they've got a little bit more pep in their step as they start to put together some rhythm. That gives them the lead. McCollum's got a pair of triples in the second now for the Trailblazers. And getting going here in the second quarter, his second three-pointer of the game. All stops the duck there, the best outcome in a bad situation. You know, you don't like the foul, but if the alternative is giving up a dunk, it's an easy choice to make. I think it sets a tone for your defense around the rim. Make them earn it. Harkless is checked in for the Trailblazers. Henderson comes in for Allen Crabb. Solid on the one-hand throw down there. You know, Clark, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Yep. Yeah, and one reason why. I just don't know that I've ever seen him miss a play like that. And Ariza with the stuff. Incredible timing on the alley-oop. He absolutely hammered it down hey guys mark that play right there because that could be the one that leads to a surge to break this thing wide open 
And boy, has he picked it up since the start of the second. His shots now starting to fall. Beverly, the pass to Monte Yunus. Again, the Rockets score. He just couldn't get a hand in the face on that one. That's using what you got. He's got a height advantage, put it to good use there, and got himself a clean look. And it's Houston on the break. It's tipped. Plays it up and in on a nice reverse. And the Rockets lead by four. And now we'll get a perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for the Rockets. Well, I think the defensive aggressiveness on display here has caught him off guard. Playing airtight defense and coming up with the steal. Yeah, the other thing, though, is they have attacked go, in the man. open Keep floor. They're definitely the getting a lot of easy answer. ones that way. Houston, a whole new five on the floor. Myers Leonard, he's jumped in for Portland. Lillard comes in for C.J. McCollum. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with the way they work down low. It's becoming a theme in this game, Clark. They are piling up the points in the paint. Fires the three. And it's Portland with the rebound. And here we go. Fast break. Henderson's got it. Harkless with the bucket. And every once in a while, he'll show up and give you some great moves around the hoop. Here's Capella. And the layup's good off the glass. Capella's got six points. Several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game. Yeah, but neither team really able to jump ahead. Yeah, it reminds me of that cameo song. Back and forth. They have got to put a body on him because otherwise, with his agility and athleticism, they're not going to be able to contain him on the offensive glass. Seems every season, Clark, you hear the same thing. Portland Trailblazers had to deal with some tough injuries. Kevin, it appears as though it might actually be a curse. I don't like to use that word, but the history of this team and injuries is as unique as any in the league. Last year, no different. Davis dishes to Lillard. The Trailblazers have shot six or seven at the line. And it's been an average year, really, at the free throw line for this group. Only around 75%. Guys, their free throw shooting has slipped a bit since last year. But not really to the point where they should be overly concerned about it. Juan Lays checked in for Davis. Rockets trailed by four. Terry kicks to Brewer. Misses in close. I still can't believe that one didn't fall. Moving it up. And there's Lillard. That's good. On the assist by Harkless. That pass into the paint. That is a work of art there. Dead on target. Capella. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. You know, he might be small for a center, but it doesn't really matter because he can... And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Trailblazers out in front, ending the second quarter on a 12-4 run. We're going to step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after our halftime. Third quarter now beginning. Both sides looking to pull away in the last half of the game. Well, both sides have assessed what they need to do over the break in halftime. We'll see now if one can pull out away here in the third. Cody Unis and Howard, the post pair. Harden and Ariza filling out the perimeter. And it's Beverly in the point guard position. That's the five for Houston right now. Yeah, and the Rockets were a tough team last year, but, but at times it, it really felt like a one-man show. Harden carried them so much for so long. You, you just have to wonder if it wore him out. And both free throws good for James Harden. And if carrying the team during the regular season or Harden down, Greg, you're talking about, it didn't show that much in the playoffs. Harden was phenomenal 
most, if not Clark, all of the postseason. I would agree with you, but there also were some other guys for Houston that did step up in the postseason. Howard looked as good as he did before all of his injuries as a case in Oh, oh wow. <laughs> That's a beautiful jam. Man, he got fancy with that one, didn't he? Yeah, maybe trying to give them the momentum boost they need to break this game open. I tell you what, I like that, though, guys. Some coaches might not want you to make a play like that. But I tell you what, when you got the skills like that, I say go for it. The Rockets have gone four of six so far from the line, missing a couple. And the season numbers for them at the line thus far are, are really poor, something I'm sure they are making a point of emphasis. You know, their percentages dropped off just a little bit compared to last year, guys, but it's not a huge drop-off, so no major concern. It's blocked. 